So, as a data analyst, one of the processes I undertake at work is connecting Power BI to a folder to create reports. Take, for example, our Zephyr's Pharmacy folder. Now, we have the sales Excel file for May 7, 8, 9, and 10 all in one folder. Rather than append these um, files together to form one large data set, we can actually connect our Power BI to this folder and create our report of this folder. Now, what happens when the sales for May 11 is added to this folder? Say you have your report created in Power BI, published to Power BI service, you have your report pinned to a dashboard. When the sales for May 11 is added to this folder, you have a scheduled refresh running on your Power BI service, the report, the dashboard will be automatically updated. So how do I connect my Power BI to this folder? It's quite simple. First, open up your Power BI. Once your Power BI is open, the next thing you need to do is come to Get Data, Navigate to More, Once this is open, look for folder. This is folder. I'll click on folder and I'll click on connect. I get this prompt to enter my folder path. So I'll click on browse to browse my folder path. My folder is actually on my desktop. I'll click on desktop. I'll scroll down and select the Zephyr's Pharmacy folder and click on OK. The next thing I'm going to do is click on OK. Great. So I get this prompt where I get to see the content of my folder, but I'm actually not seeing the content, rather I'm just seeing binary, binary, and the name of each of the files on the folder. But what I want to do from here is simply come and click on Transform Data. This automatically opens up Power Query with multiple columns, but the most important column I actually need is just the first column, which is the content column. What I'm going to do while I'm here, I'm simply going to right click on the content column and I'm going to say remove other columns. The next thing I want to do is click on this icon up here that says combine files because I want to combine these files together to give me one file. So I'm going to click combine files. Once this pane is open, I'm simply going to select sheet one. My files have been combined to form one sheet, which is sheet one, and I'm going to click on OK. Now, while in Power Query, I get to see the different transformation that have been made to my data, and I get to see the final output, my files being combined together to give me one table, that's Zephyr's Pharmacy. To actually check if this is true, I'll navigate to the date column, I'll navigate to the date column. This is the date column. So what do we have on the date column? We have 5, 7, 20, 24. I'll simply scroll down. And you actually discover that we have 5, 10, 20, 24. So while we're here, you can actually perform any transformation you need to perform on your data. The next thing you need to just simply do is click on close, then close and apply. You get to go to Power BI Desktop to create your report, do whatever you want to do. Now. When the sales for May 11 is added to your data, like I said, if you have um, your data, let's say your report is actually published in um, Power BI service, you have a scheduled refresh running for you. When the sales for May 11 is added, it will be automatically updated if your scheduled refresh performs successfully. So you don't need to stress yourself. All you need to do is connect to the folder, perform your transformation, and go ahead and create your report. It's quite simple. So with this done, I can actually practicalize this. The first thing I'm going to do while we're here now, I'll simply create a card visual to create, um, what do we call, maybe total sales. I'll bring out a card visual and create um, a total sales visual. So I'll simply expand my visualization pane 
I'll select the card visual. I'll expand the data set and simply look for total sales. This is total sales. I'll collapse this, collapse this. I currently have total sales for May 7 to May 10 displayed on my screen right now. That's 213.78K. What happens if I add May 11 to the folder and come here and just simply hit the refresh button? So let's try this out. So I'll navigate to my desktop. I'll drop the sales for May 11 on this folder. I'll come back to Power BI. Note what we have here right now. We have sales for May 7 to May 10, 213. I'll simply hit the refresh button up here. From 213, we have 309 right now. So that's how you can actually create, um, connect to your folder, create your report of your folder, and you're good to go. Thank you.